gonna set my soul on fire. I got a whole load of money that's ready to go, ready to spend, so bring the stakes up higher. A thousand greedy women are waiting out there, and I'm just a devil. Fucking, I don't know the lyrics. Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! You fucking like and you fucking subscribe. Or you get a piece of this. And I'll fucking uh, take you under the sheets and show you the big, the big one. That your daddy never had. And your mommy wasn't glad. So she came to me. And I impregnated everyone. Ah, fucking. Hey, everyone that knows me. Yes, I say weird things like this on the fucking podcast. Because this is a fucking blood of fucking car. So you damn fucking subscribe and like this fucking video. Or I'm going to get the peaky blinders on you. They got the muffins and the fucking baps in their fucking caps. You fucking hear me? Son, they got the fucking top hats with the fucking blades in them. All right, I'll get the beauty blinders on ya. You don't pay your debts. You know who's knocking on your fucking door, cat. Oh, there's there's gonna be three hits hitting the void. One, me hitting you. Two, you hitting the floor. And three, the motor the ambulance hitting ninety on the motorway. Give me that thermal pile. Remember thermal pile in Russia? Well, we just get up, like, five guys, and then they all have to fight each other, like the fucking gladiator days. Except you do it in the line. Fucking, I need to watch that one again. So, insanity. Total insanity. I just want to watch people beat the shit out of each other. And then I come in, and I beat the shit out of everyone as well. And then fucking Jake comes, and he uh, breaks my arm three times. And then a fucking wrestler as well. I, f I forgot his fucking... Fucking, I've, I've got to train so much, but also... Guess who has to actually work? And this is considering working. I don't mind this job. This job's actually not that bad. I only have to wake up and fucking look after the animals. And look after myself. Fuck walking all the way to a fucking shop. Do you want to walk for 22 kilometers every time you want to go to a shop that actually has food and shit that you want 22 kilometers wow it's here i can't believe this information only a week away <laughs> only a dick or only a fucking line away wow total damnation and a deeper layer of hell only one line of cocaine away only one uh, bad decision away wow isn't this information great <laughs> fucking uh, get me the Mr. Incredible meme where he just becomes more and more disfigured and uh, is suffering more and more and it goes like uh, I don't know sex in the uh, vagina and then it's happy sex in mouth and then it's like confused then sex in like the ass and it's like uh, it, it gets really fucked up then it gets even more fucked up when you're like, um, I don't know, what's the worst way to fucking have sex? Not having sex, that's the worst way. <laughs> what's the worst way to have sex? Not doing it. Because life is only about um, being what a hedonistic. If you're not being hedonistic and you're not uh, pleasuring yourself all day, what are you doing? I mean, are you working for someone like a slave? <laughs> Why wouldn't you just put ever? Uh, is that fucking up the audio when I do that? <laughs> fucking pleasure. What kind of pleasure is there? Because your, your dopamine receptors just get like a... I don't know if they can actually get, like, burnt out. I know uh, it takes more and more, like, uh, of the same thing to feel the same way. Like, that's why adrenaline junkies constantly need the next fucking buzz and they're doing windsuit shit and fucking handstands off of the side of buildings and things like that. But, uh, can they actually get burnt out? 
Like if you've had too much of something good, can can you add too much chemicals and then the fucking receptor just gets like fizzled out and then you can never feel again? Is that a possibility? Or maybe it's something like genetic, like you're born with less receptors and then that makes you into a fucking crazy piece of shit because you're constantly looking for the fucking high of existing. I don't need to get drunk. <laughs> I'm high on life. <laughs> Fucking eat, drink, love, eat, pray, love, mm, eat, pray, love, eat, pray, love. Sus. Whenever someone says something like that, they're a pedophile. They've got some dirty little secret. Whenever someone's contempt with life and they uh, they say, oh, don't swear, swearing's bad in front of the children. Or when they uh, look at you and judge you. Like, uh, for every bad thing you do. Like, if you do this in a picture and someone uh, starts talking shit about you and saying, don't ruin a picture like that, I'll be like, you you ruined some woman with children. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, look, I'll look them up and down and uh, I judge them from everything that I know about them. That's only if they have children. I say, you ruined the world with more little cunts like you. And then uh, if they don't have children... Uh, and I don't know. I don't know how to fucking make people cry. I know how to hurt people. I know how to make them cry. But do you really want to hurt me? And do you really want to make me cry? Come, 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 comedian. I come and go. I come and go. The, the fucking thing about this world is people automatically fucking hate me. Like, even people who I know, I know they fucking hate me. <laughs> I know it's, uh, it's not like some schizophrenic shit. Like, uh, I know everyone hates me behind my back and they're gang stalking me. It's not like that fucking bullshit. Like, uh, the eyes are on me. Fucking bullshit. Or they're hiding in the shadows. That's paranoia. But, um, oh, I know fucking people hate me. People hate me because I'm better than them physically and that's how humans judge each other like i'm taller than most people and I, a lot of men don't like that um i don't give a shit a lot of men don't like that as well they want they want you to like uh show that you care and they want you to show that you're like uh playing by the rules because they played by the rules their entire lives and if someone doesn't play by the rules or is different Mm -mm, not allowed because then it makes them look like a worse person and they can't have that and then you just got the psychos and the sociopaths who just fucking hate everyone or don't even feel anything for anyone so so you're like you're constantly trying to get some emotion out of them and they don't have any <laughs> like me but which one am i and am I just saying I am? Am I actually fake? Fake, motherfucker. Don't be fake. Be real. Kill whoever you want. Be who you were always meant to be. The fucking caveman. The fucking primal brain. That has more dominance in your brain than the civilized brain. Go outside and kill whoever you want. No repercussions. Smoke as much crack as you fucking want. Rot out your teeth. Like I give a shit. I found these. You better know I'm eating a whole pack every time. Sorry, liver. Sorry, kidneys. Sorry, lower intestines and larger intestines and pancreas and gallbladder. And um, what else do I have in here? Ding, ding. <laughs> Imagine if I just knock myself and I'm, I'm like hollow inside. I'm like a fucking tin robot. Full Metal Alchemist or whatever the fuck that anime is that everyone says is the best ever. I need to get into that fucking shit. There's so much shit that I fucking need to get into and so much shit that I need to finish as well. Succession uh, by the same guy who did um, some something like The Death of Stalin and In the Loop. I'm fucking, I was a writer on both of those and then Succession as well. It's, it flows. It goes. It goes. It goes. It's like... Um, well, it's entertaining, it, and it's uh, not the stupidest show I've ever watched. I like shows to be like that. I like them to have, like, characters that can constantly fight with each other. Like, they made a perfect um, ecosystem for the characters that they have to 
you know, be fighting against each other, and it's uh, entertaining. It's entertaining to watch people fight. It's entertaining to watch people argue. It's not petty. I'm getting value from it. I'm wasting away. And some days I feel like death. And some days I kind of feel good, but I'll never feel as fresh as I did when I was younger. But when you're young, you, you feel fresh. You feel like you can fucking do anything. You feel like you can actually do a backflip and fucking land it. And a bunch of people can. And then when you get older, you just start feeling your body shut down. And then you um, uh, get so fucked up that you have to fucking shit every... Uh, maybe there's just a problem with me, but I've had gut problems. Uh, some really bad ones. Did I tell you about when I uh, was walking back from my gym and I fucking nearly shit myself? That was some fucked up shit. That's not even a first fucking time. Like I live, I literally live like 22 kilometers. Go there, go back. Maybe even more, depending on which route I take. But fucking, fucking hell. There's no toilets. I can't just knock on someone's door and be like, I need to take a fucking shit in your toilet. I can't shit in the fucking gym's toilet as well. This isn't some fucking game. Like, you don't... And people do shit in that fucking toilet. And they're cunts. Whoever shits in the gym's toilet when everyone needs to use it to piss. You, fuck you. <laughs> I know some people uh, did it. Well, I mean, if you if you own the fucking gym or... You know, oh, fucking... Now I'm doing the stipulations. Now I'm... Uh, fucking who am I? Who am I? Who am I on this earth? Why do I talk? Why do I exist? Why do I do any of this fucking shit? Why don't I just fucking die? Why don't we all just die? Why do we do anything? Good morning to you. This is from my fucking glasses. My glasses broke. So I tape it up, put it back together. And no one gives a fucking shit. And I don't give a fucking shit. And I'm gonna fucking die and no one gives a shit. And you're gonna fucking die and no one gives a shit. Can I talk about? Imagine all of my hair going grey. I wonder when I'm gonna die. That's the fucking thing. Because I am gonna die. But I wonder how and I wonder when. And I, um, think about it. I think about all the different ways that I could die. Get hit by a car, drown, burn alive, stabbed, shot through the eye, stomped on by like 10 people, tortured to death. Uh, how else? Choke on food, ingest some sort of chemical or poison. Die from disease, die from illness, die from internal injuries, die from getting slammed on my neck by some big guy. Um, yeah, die from like brain hemorrhaging. Oh, uh, fucking hell. Die from like a tree falling on me. Die from rabies. Die from, uh, what else can I die from? Infection. You know, there's some really weird stuff, like, you know, your body can just, uh, I, I don't know if everyone has it, or if, like, uh, specific people have it more than others, but, like, your own white blood cells start attacking your own organs and body and shit like that, and you kind of, like, rot from the inside, you get, like, gangrene and shit like that on the inside. I still got a little bit of a fucking infection on my hand. Fucking world of shit. Well, skin infections are the fucking worst, literally. All you can do is fucking wait. All you can do is, like, uh, well, with certain stuff, you need to... Like, it depends on what it is, like a fungal infection, or if it's, like, some sort of worm infection, or, like, it was just... I don't fucking...